Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I am back with another story time and this one is about the time that I fought someone who I thought was my friend. But before I get into that I do need to point out that this is a collaboration video that I have done with the lovely Killer Beehive here on YouTube. She is probably the first person that I befri befriended after starting my YouTube channel. She's super supportive, always comments on my videos, and I'm sure you guys will love her, so make sure to go check out her video after this one and subscribe to her channel after subscribing to mine. So this dates back to the 8th grade, and I am in my last semester of my senior year in college, so I've had some time to think about this, and I don't know, y'all tell me down below if I did anything to her, but yeah, this was the 8th grade, and I had a friend, or so I thought, um, named, let's call her Ashley, and this was when Echo was in. Like, Echo was like the urban Aero Pastel, Abercrombie & Fitch, whatever, like, it was today's Forever 21 true religion, I don't even know, but there's a point for me bringing this Echo up because I'm pretty sure, like, this is low-key why all of this went down. So I let, what was her name? So I let Ashley borrow my Echo sweatshirt, and as a kid, have any of you ever, like, let someone borrow something without telling your parents, and then your parents are like, hey, where's such and such, and you're just like... I had to get my sweatshirt back because my mama don't play that. So the next time that I saw Ashley, I was like, hey, can I have my sweatshirt back? And she, like, made a face, like, and was like, okay. So I was like, okay. Um, so, like, a week goes by, and I didn't get my sweatshirt back, and now she had stopped talking to me. Now, I didn't really care that she had stopped talking to me, I just wanted my damn sweatshirt back. So I'm sitting in homeroom, and this mutual friend named Jeremy comes over, and he's like, yo, Ashley wants to fight you. And I'm like, okay. And he goes, well, aren't you gonna say anything? And I was like, nah, bruh. Because here's how I rationalize it. He was sitting with her before he came over to me, so I figured either two things. One, you guys were talking about me and he told you that he was gonna come say what he said to me and you didn't stop him, or two, you guys were talking about me and you told him to come over and say what he said to me. So either way, I had nothing to say back to her because clearly she wasn't that bothered if she couldn't have come to to and told me that herself. So we're past homeroom now and now I'm in English? And you have to understand the setup of this classroom to fully understand just how psycho this chick is. So I'm sitting here, and the teacher's desk is like right behind me, and then Ashley is sitting like to the back and to the right of the teacher's desk. So unless I'm some type of like mutant science experiment gone wrong, there's no possible way that I can see what she's doing or she can see what or who I'm looking at. So I'm going to assume that we were having time to complete an assignment or I don't know because the teacher wasn't teaching and I was sitting there and talking to people who were sitting around me and all I hear is who she rolling her eyes at? Now I kept on about my business because I have nothing to do with someone behind me seeing someone roll their eyes, eyes at them. So someone was like you talking to me? And she goes no Shanine. And I was like how? Mind you, the teacher was sitting behind me and clearly heard what she said and did nothing about it. And the person sitting next to me was like, aren't you going to say anything? And I was like, no, because I have no idea what the hell she's talking about. So the day goes on and person after person is coming up to me telling me, Ashley said this, Ashley said that, Ashley wants to fight you. And none of them got a response from me because I don't care. I mean, I care, okay? Like, they're... Very few things in life that I actually care about, and sorry boo boo, you weren't one of them. So now it's the end of the day, and I just want to get to my locker and get to the bus. Because if you know anything about Pocono Mountain, Pennsylvania, then you know you don't want to miss your damn bus. Okay, it wasn't like my high school here in New York, where my high school was like three blocks away from my house. If I missed the bus and had to walk home from my school, to this day I'd still probably have about a mile to go. So I'm at my locker, and guess who shows up? Miss, what we would call today, Twitter fingers, Ashley. Now, I was genuinely surprised, but I guess she got tired of not getting response out of me after sending her minions up to me all day. So she's all in my ear, you think you're this, you think you're that, and I will da 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 and I'm just looking at her like, keep chirping, bitch. So I walk around her and make my way outside to go catch my bus. Now I'm outside and my bus is literally like right there, and then all of a sudden I just feel like a hand clip the back of my ear, and I'm just like, Pull up skirt. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Did she just touch me? Did she just touch me? 
you 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 don't touch me you don't do it to yourself you can do all the talking that you want to do but it's a whole different story when you put your hands on me now you know the whole cliche take your earrings off and all that other extra stuff well according to people who saw it i did that like that was back when i still wore hoops now look i'm not gonna get on here and try to flex for the yt but i went to town on that ass all right, and that was back when I was plumper, so the size difference was at least a little bit more tolerable since her ass was so damn big as compared to now where I weigh like 100 pounds on a good day. Like, I just remember swinging on her and trying to get her into a headlock because she kept pulling the back of my ponytail trying to get us down to the ground, and I knew that just couldn't happen. So they separate us, and she's just like, Aha! Aha! You got your ass whooped! How's it feel? How's it feel? And for the millionth time that day, I was left with my face like... How? Taking your size into consideration, Goliath, the fact that I'm still standing, my ponytail is still intact, and the only mark on me is a little scratch on my cheek, um, boo-boo whooped where? And that was before I even saw her arm. Now, I told you guys that all I remember was swinging, so I don't know how, but I looked at her arm and that thing was dripping, okay? Now, I almost felt sorry for her because I told you guys in my story time, the subway brawl, that I'm not a confrontational person. Like, I'm not out here trying to boss up on anybody. I don't want to see anybody hurts. But then I remembered that, one, she started this, and two, even with a bloody arm, she's still talking mess. I was like, so this is how it ends. I'm about to die because this double-breasted lip shit starter wanted to try me. Before my mother got there, the principal spoke to both of us separately, obviously, and she was just like, oh, I'm so disappointed, but I know this isn't like you. And I'm just like, uh, you think? I had never been in trouble before that. I even had perfect attendance. So I did end up getting a shorter suspension than she did. I also feel like I got a shorter suspension because the school low-key knew that they had dropped the ball in some type of way with that because the teacher definitely heard what she said to me in class and all day people were coming up to me saying, oh, she's gonna fight you, oh, she's this, she's that. I'm like, I know at least one adult in this building heard about that. So my mother finally gets there and I'm just like, all right, here we go, this is it. And surprisingly, she never did anything like to this day she never yelled at me about it she listened to what the principal had to say listened to what i had to say she was like all right so what's her punishment she was like she's suspended she was like all right can i take my daughter home now and that was it like nothing ever happened i still feel like she's like just waiting until i least expect it to explode now around the time that this fight happened my family was in the process of moving back to new york i know she would like to think that this fight had me running for the hills but no. So I spent the suspension in New York, but I had to go back for the last week of school. I went back to school like normal, and like I said before, she had been given a longer suspension than I did, so I was back for a few days before she was, and she finally came back, and everyone was just looking like, so what's going on? Are they still beefing? What's gonna happen? And I'm just like, nothing to see here, people, okay? There's no beef. Beef is when two people are mad at each other. If she's over there mad, and I'm over here doing me, then that's not beef. She's just mad. And this is how you know she was still mad. It was the end of the year, and end of the year means yearbook time. We're just gonna pretend that this is a yearbook. And people were passing my yearbook around signing it, and my friend comes up to me and she's like, guess what? So I'm like, what? And she goes, um, Trevor was signing your yearbook, and Ashley took it and she threw it, and she bent up all the pages. And I'm just like, Ooh, she's shaking the yearbook, y'all. Like, are you really that press? Do you really need attention that badly? Well, there you go. Here you go, boo boo, there you go. So I took my bent up yearbook, went home, moved without my damn sweatshirt, and I went on with the rest of my life. I don't know what happened to her. I don't care what happened to her. I've had people try to tell me like, oh, she's doing this and she's, she's doing that. And I'm just like, keep that mess over there, bruh. Like, ain't nobody worried about her. The biggest issue that I had with this whole thing was being suspended from school. Like, I don't play when it comes to my education. And I was so paranoid. I was like, I'm not gonna get into college. This is gonna be my record for the rest of my life. But as I mentioned before, I'm a senior in college. So obviously that didn't happen, but it could have it could have happened and that's why people really need to like stop and think like don't allow someone who has nothing to lose to cost you or block you from your blessings by taking you out of your element they're just not worth it so that was my first and hopefully last fight ever like i said before let me know what you would have done or what you think i could have done differently make sure to thumbs up comment and subscribe down below thank you all for watching and i will see you in the next one bye <laughs>